Tonight, we make love with only words. Tonight, we make love with only words. To the new power generation. Reason why my voice is so clear is there's no smack in my brain. told us that. Right? And if we never knew we were going to die, we wouldn't celebrate a birthday. We... But isn't it nice to celebrate the day you was born? And I'll celebrate the day I die. So 
whatever they did worked. I was like, I don't know if he's going to make it, but he got through that, and I was so thankful. On April 15, 2016, Prince was flying home after a concert. The pilot had to land the plane because Prince had stopped breathing. He died on the plane. Then they brought him back. Female, male, female, age, anything. I do not know that. Uh, after being revived, Prince was taken to a local hospital for observation. Somebody said that they wanted to test his blood, and Prince refused to get his blood tested. Somebody was hiding something. Prince is back to being Prince again, and they take him back home. He should have never left that hospital. He's flown back to Minneapolis. I'm like, what? Who does that after you almost die on a plane? Just look how many chances everybody had that was in that circle to say something or do something. It was our medical, Paisley Park, 7801 Audubon Road, 7801 Audubon Road for a sale down that region. Rescue's been started right now. I've got breaking news to uh, report to you coming out of the Minneapolis area. There is an ongoing death investigation and normally that wouldn't make national news unless it's a death investigation at a place, uh, the estate of Prince, the musician. That is where the sheriff's deputies apparently uh, have been located. Uh, the estate of, of Prince, uh, whose real name is Prince, Roger, Prince Rogers Nelson, no one is confirming at any time who the person is uh, who died at this estate of Prince in Minnesota, but this is the uh, Carver County area in Minnesota, and the sheriff there has been uh, doing the best he can to update what they are doing, but they're saying they are not saying at all who the person uh, is who died at the Prince estate until they're able to notify next of kin. So we're gonna continue to watch this very carefully. Breaking news, stunning millions of fans around the world. Pioneering music legend Prince has died at the age of 57. 57 years old, according to a, a family member who does not want to be named. Uh, uh, several members of uh, close to Prince have also reported to other news organizations uh, that he has died. Uh, police. He died in Minneapolis, his home, that he never left. Entertaining, influential, and barrier-breaking musician of his generation, Prince, the purple one, died today at the age of 57. The cause of death is not yet known. We do know that Prince was found unresponsive in an elevator at his estate in Minnesota, and that the last few weeks of his life were, characteristically, a bit mysterious. Are they really angels? Are they just in our mind? It all comes out in the wash. In time. Hi there. Um, what's the address here? Yeah, we need an ambulance right now. Okay, your cell phone's not going to tell me where you're at, so you need to find me an address. Yeah, we have, um, yeah, we have, um, so yeah, um, the, the person is dead. Okay, get me the address, please. Okay, okay, I'm working on it. Concentrate on that. And the people are just distraught. I understand that they are distraught, but... I'm working on it, I'm working on it. Paisley Park. We're at Paisley Park. You're at Paisley Park? Okay, that's in Chenhassen. Are you with the person who's... Yes. It's Prince.
don't take Christopher yet. He ain't ready, Laura. He's just a mate. lights came up nobody did it better than him let's face it if you look at the moves he did on stage in the first 10 years of his career i mean you had to be a refined athlete to do something like that every night if you look at some of the videos from silent times or from love sexy or that was very physical stuff he was doing jumping off the stacks doing the Spins uh, and it splits three or four times. There are those uh, who say that his injuries go back to 1985 to the Purple Rain tour. Uh, he was rumored to have a hip issue and maybe a hip replacement. Uh, he walked with a cane. We all saw that. Prince was a performer. I mean, he really got into that. He started jumping off pianos, jumping off of speakers. Jumping from one riser to another in those hills. It, it, it's what it's all about, jumping off pianos. That's what it's all about, about jumping off pianos. Yeah, that's and hurting your foot when you jump. No, well, the, the jumping off the pianos is the easy part. If somebody right. puts a monitor someplace <laughs> where they're supposed to be, then... That's the bad part. Then, you go back and you watch the movies. You go back and watch him on a stage. I never thought this dude, what it is to jump off of speaker stacks in platform heels and land in a split. Do that night after night, you are pummeling your mind. And you see where you would start grinding your bones down. And you can see the pain of the that. And I just don't think any of us thought about that before. He seems so unstoppable as a creative force, and you see it so superhuman, and such a powerhouse, that you just didn't, it didn't occur to you that he wouldn't be there, He'd never been around and music humming at that sort of altitude, consistently jaw-dropping caliber with the distance. He liked to frequent this club down upon 36. Pimps and bangers at the hand outside. He cuts for kicks. Welcome to Carver County. I wish it was under different circumstances. This is a tragedy for all of us. To you, Prince Rogers Nelson was a celebrity. To us, He's a community member and a good neighbor. To his family, 